This is Marketing, Management, and Money. We are doing a discussion on the essentials of financial statements. So we're going to do just a quick tip on getting your profit and loss and your balance sheet squared away so that you can actually use these as tools in your business. The very first thing that I want to tell all of the entrepreneurs, small business owners out there is that so many small business owners fail to take the time to get their P&L and their balance sheets set up correctly so that they can actually use these as tools. Here's how you know if you're not using these as tools. If the only time you're really truly referencing your P&L and your balance sheet is when you have to do your taxes, that's not a tool. A tool is where you use your profit and loss and your balance sheet in order to do uh, management decisions. And honestly, every management decision should reference back to these financial statements. They're there for a reason. These statements have been around for centuries and they work. Every major company in the entire world is going to be using the same format for financial statements. So in this training, we're just going to cover some real quick, high level things that you need to make sure that you're doing in your business today. The first thing is make sure that you have a clean P&L and a clean balance sheet. Now, if you're not familiar with the term P&L, profit and loss, maybe you've heard it called income statement. It doesn't matter the name. It matters that you understand what it is and that you have it in your business. Most small businesses are going to have a P&L or an income statement. That comes kind of intuitive because they're always looking at their sales and they're, uh, you know, factoring in those expenses. And then it's easy to calculate the profits from there. But here's where I start to see businesses mess up, and that is not having a usable balance sheet. So the balance sheet is very important to the business. The balance sheet is calculated by taking the assets and they will equal the liabilities plus the equity. And so that's where the balance comes from is the assets in your company will equal the combination of your liabilities and your equity from a monetary perspective. The balance sheet is really going to tell you the health of your business. And this is where a lot of small businesses kind of overlook the value of financial statements is they get too hung up on just the sales and the profits of their company and they don't take the time to actually understand the balance sheet. There are a couple key things that we need to look at here. You can have record sales, you can have record profits in your company, and you can go out of business. Yeah, that's something that a lot of entrepreneurs don't really understand is that you can actually go out of business with record sales and record profits. And those are all measured on the P&L or the, uh, you know, the income side of the business. So what do we need to be looking at? We need to be looking at the full picture, which includes the cash flow. You've probably heard the expression cash is king to a small business. And it's true. Cash is king because cash is what's going to keep you afloat. It's what's going to keep your business going without you going under. Now, where do we manage and measure cash in your business? It's on the balance sheet. The balance sheet is where you find that line item for cash. The balance sheet is the cash flow side of your business. And so we're looking at that health, the stability, and we are measuring all of that on the balance sheet. Now, if you really want to manage your business correctly, you need to be managing both, both the profit and loss and the balance sheet. So where do you start if you've never done this before? You start by looking at it and familiarizing yourself with the line items on both of those financial statements. Take the time, look at the line items, go through them one at a time. Understand the categories and the subcategories that you have built into your financial statements. Oftentimes, businesses will use uh, like an accounting software to help them manage this and put this together. That's great. But don't ignore the fact that you still have to get in and do your homework. And so if you are using an accounting software, maybe it has a chart of accounts, go into the chart of accounts and look at every single line item in that chart of accounts and familiarize yourself with what that represents and what it means to your business. Then you need to understand how you are calculating the numbers in your business. 
So on the income statement, you need to understand that sales less expenses equals profit. On the balance sheet, as we've already stated, assets equals liability plus equity. Those are the fundamental equations that you need to know to understand where all of your you know, line items are coming from, what they represent, and why it's important to your business. Now, we're just scratching the surface here. What really starts to matter is when you start comparing what is actually happening in these financial statements. You start looking for trends. You start looking for ratios. Do a lot of ratio analysis to help you understand what's going on. You're looking for anomalies, things that shouldn't be in your financial statements that are you know, maybe causing some problems or uh, maybe they're skewing the numbers. And so you're starting to familiarize yourself with this. One of the things that uh, I've worked with a lot of small businesses on and they don't really recognize is how much information is in the financial statements. The financial statements really are the story of your business and it's all there. I can look at a set of financials and I can tell you exactly what's going on in this business. I can tell you the decisions that they're making, the strategies that they're employing. Uh, I can even tell you whether they price their products high or low based on you know some of the margins. And all of that is going to be in the financial statements. And so you need to start familiarizing yourself with the financial statements. It's like learning to read. If you look at a child that they're they're first learning their ABCs, they're going to struggle a bit. They're going to get to the point that they're going to be a little bit frustrated. But once they learn their ABCs, then they start to put those together into words. Words form sentences. Sentences forms paragraphs. Paragraphs form stories. The same thing happens with your financial statements. If this is all new to you, if you're a little bit overwhelmed, don't get too hung up on it. Just start reviewing them on a regular basis and you'll start to naturally have patterns that are going to stick out to you. I'll tell you, if you want to learn more, we've got plenty of resources here at Marketing Management Money. You can find us marketingmanagementmoney.com or you can check out a lot of our trainings on tabletwise.com and just search for Marketing Management Money. And we've got uh, a myriad of trainings available for you to help you better understand your financial statements. But for now, Dig in, start familiarizing yourself, learn those line items one at a time, make sure you know what each and every single one of them are, and here's to growing your business. We'll catch you next time.